This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Friday, January 29th, 2021. All this week, I've been taking a walk out here on the Finger Lakes Trail. I'm talking about imagination using the prompts from our Soul Matters small group material. And just as a reminder, if these prompts have been helpful for you in reflecting about the role of imagination in your life, they're the prompts straight from our small group ministry material. And so if you're finding them helpful and you haven't ever joined a UU Connect or an open circle, think about doing that. Those groups are set up to get together in a more intimate setting than Sunday morning and to reflect on what really drives meaning making in our world, be it imagination or beloved community or mystery or awe, any of the monthly themes that we use in worship. It's a chance to dig deeper into them. So for the last open circle-based reflection this week. The prompt from the material is, have you become more or less imaginative as you've aged? Oh, and this is such a, a complex one for me. You know, I know um, at times I, I uh, come off, I've had myself described this way plenty of times, as pretty, <laughs> oh, I don't know, pretty no-nonsense, pretty concrete in my thinking. Thoughtful, but not in the way of flights of imagination. I suppose that's true. But there are two places where my imagination really flies. One is simply just being the parent of a three-year-old and coming up with stories to tell her, hearing what stories she thinks of. And the other is out here. go gingerly down this hill as it's a little snowier than it was intended to be hiked. Ah. Someone I interviewed in Nebraska for the first time. One of the things that was really important for Stacy and I to say to everybody was that we really cared about the place that we were moving to, that we were really putting down roots in Nebraska. That was really important because it's not always obvious that somebody wants to move to the Midwest, especially if they, like we, were moving from New York City. But there's another truth as well. That is, that while Stacy and I have grown to love the plains, and that will be the landscape of my adulthood for a very long time, this is the landscape of my childhood and my young adulthood. North woods, sometimes in summer, sometimes in winter. Old or not so lo old logging trails, cutting through pine forest. I was a pretty shy adolescent. And 
And so in high school, I would come out here a lot. There was one summer, I think it was the summer between my junior and senior year in high school. I actually clocked it that I spent over half the nights that summer in a tent somewhere on a trail, often like this, although less snow in July. This is a place where I could come and just let go of the reins of my imagination for a while. Imagine what might be in my life and my world, unconstrained by the reality that I was a <laughs> pretty shy, not particularly talkative, academically talented 17 year old. It's not always the easiest thing to be. But out here was a place where that didn't matter. I could just be. I'll be glad to get back to Nebraska. I'll be glad to get back to our own home eventually. I will be very, very glad to join in worship with all of you in the sanctuary at 6300 A Street. Don't take me wrong in any way there. But this interlude, being able to come out here <laughs> and just turn a camera on and talk, let go of imagination for a while, is truly special itself. I hope that you've enjoyed this series this week as much as I've enjoyed recording it. I hope you can see some of the beauty of this place and this landscape and this season. That you might cast your imagination here for a moment and share this walk with me. I hope you're able to do that. I don't know when the next time that I'll have a free hour to go out into the woods and turn on a camera will be, but we'll do more of these before returning to Nebraska because it is glorious. Until then, have a great weekend. This Sunday, my dear friend, Catherine, is preaching. I can't wait to hear a word from her. And I will see you in the updates on Monday. Be at peace, everybody. I'm gonna stay on the trail a little bit. It's one last thing, I'm back at the car after that hike. I'll put this in after the update on Friday. But uh, on the walk back from the end of the trail, I just left the camera running. I think it's about half an hour long. And it's just a walk through the woods on a snowy afternoon. We've got some questions for reflection in every five or six minutes or so. But if you want to have a, a more reflective time that's a little more spread out than these updates, We'll link to that video here at the end of this one. Have a great weekend, everybody.